So, yeah, so I was talking about this question last time, and I realized that this question is pretty bad. Um, so I decided to change it. It's like how, you know, yeah. So let me change it right now. I refuse. Uh, easy change. Delete the sine x. Uh, we should talk about biology also. How um, about chromosomes too? Actually, how there's a there's a the why there's a boy and girl and the difference between boy and girl too actually, which is basically the xx and xy. Uh, boy has xy chromosome and girls have xx chromosomes. That's what the defining factor of a girl and a boy. <sighs> And there's no way to change that unless you're going to change every single cell and organism on there. So there's no way to change that. Oh, you know what? Hmm, I don't like the idea of actually deleting that. Um, uh, um, we were talking about foci too. Uh, why am I going all over the place? Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Um, yeah, I, I know that I can talk about a lot of this shit if I really wanted to, that I made, like, determinant is, um, usually the area of the vectors. Uh, determinant is basically something like this. To do, 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 do and gain the area. You might say, well, how about the cross product? Cross product is not a determinant. That's what people get confused about. So a cross product gives, uh, if you have, if you don't know, like if you get two vectors, you get a nine degree angle from it. What people don't realize, a cross product and a determinant is completely different. Uh, I, J, K, and then you have something like this, right? Well, that's perpendicular, so it probably gives you some zero, I don't know. Uh, and then you say you get a determinant of that, and you get uh, the cross product. But, yeah, we, we use a determinant to solve it, but we have I, J, K here, making it not an ordinary determinant as a determinant is. This is more like a, this is why this is called a cross product. It doesn't give the area of the thing. So it's two different things, it's not same thing. When we say cross product to the, uh, the determinant, it's pretty different. We use a determinant to solve for a cross product, but it isn't equal to each other. It isn't multi coercive Basically, a cross product is is a determinant of uh, two vectors uh, and uh, dotted by i j k axis that's probably a better way to describe a cross product um I don't really know what I said about the cross product here. Uh, 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 product, product, product. Um, because a determinant can also be defined by a uh, vector and then uh, dotted, um, uh, fuck, x, cross, uh, c cross u. This is also considered a cross. Technically, it is a cross product. Yeah, but yeah, but this is also a vector of a certain point. I guess that's not a real definition. I really need a better definition. Another textbook probably has a better definition. I 
really now need to rethink this question actually what is a determinant what is the dot product now it's a new question oh let's go talk about biology too yes um the reason why a girl is born without a you know mm, well basically this has a has and this has a And you cannot change that. This is not changeable. Even with hormone therapy, it's actually not changeable. It's completely two separate. There's people with XXY and then um, XXX and then XYX. But one thing you need to know about that is because that's so minuscule, we're talking about the general population. We're not talking about these people. We're talking generally about boys and girls. There's there's boys with the uh, um, with the V, uh, which is this um, because um, they're sometimes born with both reproductive organs. Man, that's completely fine. That's happens a few times. I recommend you not cut them off. You let them have it. That's my opinion. All right, we talk about biology now. We're gonna talk about this again. My God, this lesson is so fractured. I cannot believe it. <sighs> I refuse to deal with it. So calm down. So actually, in this case, let's just look at what a cross product. Uh, I probably have a definition, way better definition somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then a determinant. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm right about my definition. I just I need a better definition to differentiate both of them. Yeah, because I just realized that um, you can define a um, determinant um, with a cross product. And you can define a cross product with a determinant. That's an inverse relationship. You're using parts of the definition from each other to define each other, which is an incorrect definition. So now thinking about it, that Google search didn't help me. A determinant is. Uh, it can be a two by two, and it can be n by n square. So the term only only appears. So if and only if, which is denoted by this symbol over here. If we have a, a n by n square matrix. Um, if I write something like this, that means if and only if, just a note. So we have a determinant. So actually the definition of a determinant should be a n by n rn, which means just rn. So actually it should be the opposite way around because thinking about it, it might be like this. So this actually means all real numbers in uh in the n significant digits. So I need a subset, right? So actually it would be R N subset. Let me look at my definitions in vector calculus. Um <laughs> let me see. So uh, there's a few ways to write it. You could divide it like n by n r n, which basically means I want this taken out of the r n cycle. But I want to look at this definition. Uh, a. So which direction does this point? Oh, I see. So, n by n is a proper uh, is a is a 
subset. This is set. Um, so as a um, is a subset. So, in this case, trying to figure out the definition here. R n is a subset of x by n, because by this definition, so if you read here. This means a subset of, and this is a definition of that, uh, and this definition, this is what I wrote, is uh, this definition here. So if I have a uh, bigger and smaller, that would be considered this formal definition. Uh, so it's inward thinking. If we did this at outward thinking, it is this definition. So n by n is a subsection of Rn would be correct because mm, because B is a sub so in this case, B is Rn, and um, A is n by n matrices. So that tells me that B is a subset of A, and A is just a proper set of B. So. In reality, it is something like this. Okay, so I got it wrong, kind of. Did I get it right, actually? Um, I got it wrong, so it's this. Uh, it took me a while for me to understand this. The other way to write it is n by n is um, belongs to Rn, which just says that this it, this um, matrix is inside of the real all real value possibilities. So all possibilities is taken out to get this this portion here. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Um, so the I think I need to change my own documents to make it easier. If A, then B is a subset, a subset of A. Yeah, I don't understand this. Uh, I don't really like this before now because I don't understand it. So we're just gonna leave it be. We're just gonna say is this, but we're not actually gonna use it. Um, so what I'm saying is, uh, forget that for now. I know how to use this. So <laughs> uh, I need to relearn this a little bit more. It makes little to no sense to me. Um, yeah, so, that, so I'm thinking of a definition of a determinant. And I'm thinking is so n by n matrix. that we get the area of by getting subsets. Wait, we need to get subsets from this. Okay, I need to redefine uh, because I remember that we need actually we need subset. All right, we I will get this meaning now. Um. Okay, which means A is a subset of B. Hmm. <laughs> so what does that mean? 
A is the proper subset of B. Oh, do I have it opposite way around? Seriously? No, that's the proper subset. So I got the proper substance of oh, right. If A equal B, but A does not, then we say A is a proper subset of B. Denote. Oh, so this is equal to. Oh. So I did get this wrong. Okay. So I what I said was actually wrong. And what I wrote here is actually wrong. Uh, just um, in the case that it can be a new equation um, equal to. Hmm. So, yeah, I got that one wrong. Now I'm thinking about it, I use determinants a lot, so I actually need to know what a determinant does before I speak more about this. Anyone want to talk about chemistry? He! We can talk about chemistry. Um, what's the macro and micro level? He! Alright, um, no. Um, so yeah, so I'm trying to define it and then doing it wrong. So yes, subsets. Subset matrix. Okay, so actually, it's just the area of a prism. That's the definition of a determinant. That is created by three vectors. And that leaves cross plotting. And I guess the definition is a perpendicular vector up. So actually, a determinant spits out a scalar, and a cross product it spins out a vector. And that's a difference, and that is linked to the definition of them. And I guess that means this D is not the definition of a determinant, but more like a continuation. It isn't a definition. It is just the property of the determinant. And that's a good question. I am not an expert. I'm just trying to understand this. And I know what they are. I know how to do all the math if you're giving me it. But now I'm trying to analyze it and questioning it. Yeah. And I think I now know a more deeper understanding of it, hopefully. Now thinking about it, we should do a lesson on biology and how there's a girl and boy on that. Yeah. Because I'm doing attempts, so 